Pressers. Buy the movie. Hey guys, this is Mike from uh, Prime Services. Basically, I'm going to do a video today about how to remove viruses and actually make your computer run a little bit faster. Um, there's going to be some couple sessions where I might pause the video so you guys can catch up, but just stay tuned and we'll get the job done. So first we want to do is you want to restart your computer. So restart your computer and then press F8 as soon as you see your manufacturer logo screen. So if you're a Dell, you'll see a Dell screen. If you're HP, you'll see HP screen and etc. Okay guys, so after you restart your computer, you'll see the logo screen and then just keep pressing F8 until you see this screen right here that says safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. The one that we want to choose is safe mode with networking. By using the arrow key, hit up or down to select it and then hit enter. So now you'll see it loading up. So basically safe mode with networking you get the options of using the internet in safe mode and also it doesn't run all the careless programs that you might have in the background like useless like free software and things of that nature. Okay guys so once the computer boots up you'll see this screen. So now we're going to start removing. Since I have Malwarebytes already downloaded, we're going to download it again anyway, and I'll just override it. So click on Internet Explorer. You'll get your home screen, and then we're going to go to Google.com. In Google, we'll just type Malwarebytes. So scroll down, and then you see Malwarebytes website. Click on that, scroll down, and then you'll see free version download. Click on that, download now, and then hit run. Wait for it to download, hit run again, click OK, next, next. Well, accept it, next, 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 make an icon, fine, install. All right. Now, once you get to this step, uh, uncheck this because we don't want the trial version. And make sure these two bottom ones are checked off and then hit finish. You always want to make sure your malware bytes is up to date. So now it's going to download the latest version. Hit OK. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a quick scan. So just all you have to do is make sure this is selected, and then scroll down and hit Scan. Now while this is scanning, this might take about 10 to 15 minutes, um, which is fine. What we could do while that's doing that, we can uh, go back to Internet Explorer. Go up to Google. Let's type, let's go back to Google's website actually. And then there's something called CC Cleaner. So type CC Cleaner and then hit enter. And they have their own little website. We'll click there and we'll download. Scroll down. Yeah, we, we could download it from File Hippo. That's fine. Then you want to move over and download the latest version. Yeah, download file. All right, and let's run this as well. Now, CC Cleaner, it basically it cleans up cookies, temporary files, things that you don't need. This will also tweak out your computers to make it run a little bit better. So you want to hit next, next. Yeah, I will uncheck these. You don't need Google Chrome and the toolbar. Install. Uncheck this because we don't care about the release notes. And then just hit finish. Uh, hit yes, what they recommended. So all these things to the left here, you'll see temporary internet files, history, cookies, and stuff like that. 
Let's let it clean all that for us while Malwarebytes is running. So you hit Run Cleaner, hit OK. And now it's going to just go through all your temporary files. Like, temporary files, like, if you, let's say if you clicked on the picture on there or something, that'll be in your temporary files. Or if you downloaded a, a file, that'll be in your temporary files. Stuff like that. Cookies, we all know what cookies are. If you go to a website, it finds your interest and basically it saves it on your computer. And now, like, if you go to an airline, it'll know where you're, you want to travel because it's in your cookie. So it's always good to clean up your cookies and temporary files like that to make your browsing a little bit faster. So now let's click on registry, scan for issues. This is also a registry cleaner, pretty basic, but it, it gets the job done. And then once it's at 100%, just select fix, selected item, well, issues, uh, select no, select all, close. All right, so we're done with CC Cleaner. You could do this uh, probably once every month, uh, just do like CC Cleaner. And also malware bytes when we get back to it. Uh, just close out of this, and then you can close out Internet Explorer. And close out this too. All right. So now malware bytes found 19 infection. So let's hit OK. Let's see what we it found. Now mine might be different than yours because I did light browsing on here on my VMware, but um, yours could have a lot. Like if it found 200, I seen some find a thousand stuff. So you want to check off all these things. Unless it's a program that you need for like work or school or something, just make sure you look through these programs over here. See, these? this says browser safeguard and stuff like that. I don't need this. This is all junk to me. Like, you see how it says PUP optional? These are basically like little minor stuff, like add-ons and add-aware stuff. Like, But in the vendor, under the vendor, you might see like Trojans, Rogue... Like you want, you might see like more powerful things that you have to delete. Because if you don't delete them, then your computer is gonna still stay infected. So let's check off these. The quickest way I like to do it is using the arrow key and hitting spacebar. So I'll do spacebar, arrow down, and then you can select them all off. Sorry, there is no select all. I don't know why Malwarebytes haven't done that. They should. It'll be a lot quicker because sometimes there's like. 300 items and it takes forever to just to select them all but anyway let's continue so once you select all of them just hit remove selected now it'll give you like this uh, notepad of what it did we can close that out it'll say restart we didn't, we're not going to restart right now so we're going to hit no and then we'll close our buttons so as of right now it did remove those um, so let's go back to Internet Explorer and we're gonna go to Google. Google, I love Google because you can search anything on Google. Uh, and then we're gonna type combo fix. Combo fix. And then hit enter. Now we're gonna download combo fix from bleeping computer. Scroll over down hit the download button and then we're gonna download the file alright so we're gonna save you wanna save it to your desktop so desktop here and save Right, close, close out Internet Explorer, and then you'll see Combo Fix, which is right here. Now, Combo Fix, you you don't have to run in safe mode, but I would highly recommend running in safe mode because you don't want to damage any programs because it will delete anything that it finds that might be an infection. So make sure you're in safe mode when you run the Combo Fix. So double click on Combo Fix, select Run. I agree. If you're if you're running Windows Vista also with Combo Fix, it might not let you let it run because you have to go into Control Panel and turn off um, UAC. Now, if you need help disabling that, uh, just 
write a comment and I'll get back to you in the email and I'll show you how to do it. Or if, if there's a lot of people that needs to do that, then I'll do another YouTube video. But yeah, Combo Fix basically runs on its own. Um, right now, it's going to make a restore point. Let's just wait a little bit. Combo Fix is perfect for root kits and stuff. Now, mine automatically just started scanning. Now, it depends on how updated your computer is. It might ask for like framework or um, if you need to install restore point, just hit yes and just let it install it and then it'll say okay and then you'll get to this point eventually. So now we're going to wait for this to scan. Basically it's going to go through stages. It's 50 stages and then after that it will start deleting whatever infections it has. Combo fix is perfect for like root kits and uh, other infections that malware bites in it fine. So I like to run malware bites before I run combo fix. As you can see, you see the completed stage one and two for now. Um, it's going to go up to 50 like I said. So I'm going to stop recording and then I'll get back to you once combo fix gets to 50 and then we can talk more. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. So once we get to this point, that means it's basically almost done. It's going to make a text file in your uh, on the root of the, your C drive. So we're going to wait a little bit. So bam, it shows you what it removed and things of that nature. But you can close it out. X. Now you want to uninstall a combo fix. Now, a lot of people always seems to forget to uninstall it. It's very important too because your antivirus will probably think that's a threat because it's going through your system files and you don't want that. So. To uninstall that, let's select the start menu, type combo fix, space, backslash, uninstall, and then hit enter. And run. Alright, so it says combo fix is uninstalled, hit OK, and now you should see the icon disappear. Alright, next step, uh, let's go back to Internet Explorer. And then let's go back to Google. Uh, at least I just installed Internet Explorer, so it's keep giving me these pop ups, but you guys probably won't get that. But let's go to google.com. Uh, checkbox so you know show me in the future and now we're going to download TDSS killer and then hit enter now in your search we're going to go back to bleeping computer so it should be the third one down select it scroll down and hit the arrow wait for it to come up Download file. And hit run. So now TDS Killer, like let's say if you uh, Google something and it keeps redirecting you. Or let's say if your computer sometimes uh, gets a blue screen while you're in normal mode. Um, TDS Killer will find that infection and delete it. So basically it's going to search for rootkits. So hit run. But not all rootkits. It's a... Uh, particular rootkits that are like that are redirecting like I said before or if it's giving you a blue screen so accept accept still updates start scan TES is not as long as malware bytes or combo fix usually it takes about like 30 seconds to a, even quicker than that sometimes but let's just wait I might not find stuff, but yours will probably find if you're highly infected, or it might not. Because uh, Malwarebytes and Combo Fix usually does get a lot of stuff out. See, mine found no threats, but if yours did find threats, it will say Cure, and then you select Cure. And at this point, I wouldn't restart it because we have one more thing to do, so you'll hit Don't Restart Now. So let's close this out close this as well back to our home screen or our desktop uh, last thing that we want to do is go to start 
and type msconfig and then hit enter. Remind you guys, this tutorial is only for XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Windows 8 is a little bit different. If you guys want me to show you Windows 8, I'll gladly do it. Just uh, leave a comment and I'll, show, I'll make another video for you guys. So once msconfig comes up, you get these tabs up top. So select startup. As of right now, I have only VMware, but you want to go through these options. Uh, I need VMware tools to run, but you'll see a list of programs that don't need to start up. So you can uncheck those, select apply, and then hit, hit OK. Once you hit OK, then now we're going to restart the computer. Um, so let's go here and just restart. So now we're going to go back into our home screen. Okay, guys. So once the computer boots up, if you had an infection like uh, one of those rogue antiviruses or something that wants you to purchase it, they should all be gone. This... My virus removal is probably like 90% accurate. I mean, it should remove all the infections and it should make your computer run better. Um, now, you should be able to go through your files and everything. If you had errors and messages, they should be isolated. Um, I don't know what's on your computer, but um, I guess if you have any questions, you can give me um, a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, also, what I'll highly recommend using is Firefox. Um, here's my Firefox. To get to Firefox is easy, you just go to Google. I'll do a quick demonstration before I leave. Um, go to Google, type Firefox, then the first link you want to click here. And then you want to click this right here and then download it and install it. Once you get that, you'll get Firefox. So double click on it. And one thing I want you to add, if you want, you can make it your default browser. If not, you don't have to. One thing I want you to add is uh, add-on. You go to add-ons and then in the search button over here, you want to type add block. Hit enter. And then you want add bot plus and then install it. You'll see at the bottom here at the left, that's to block up a lot of pop-ups where you can get infections. So Firefox is a lot better. Um, if you're running an XP machine, you, sh you can use it, but it might run a little slow when it boots up. But uh, it does get the job done of safe browsing. Also, you should check your antivirus, make sure that's up to date. Um, other than that, you guys should be safe and... Uh, Virus free. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Uh, my name is Mike again from Prime Services. And also, you should guys should subscribe to me um, because I'll have more videos. Uh, this is just the beginning. Um, leave me comments of what you think about my video, all right? You guys have a good one. Bye. Prime Services. <laughs>